And let's go ahead and minimize this. Oh, hey, it looks like Apari responded. You click on that and you can create a DIN map. Oh, I thought this was pretty cool. It's just a trade history. Need to see more items? Boom, expand. Look around at your other dens. You can connect them. You might even find the ultra rare limited edition one of a kind crazy rare. Come on. You know you love that. You would use that. Put whatever you want inside the gift box. You can put a spike in there, whatever. And then the first person that finds the box and clicks on it gets the item. You want to find a spike and you search for it. Yeah, it's the shop. King, yeah, it's shop King time. Hey, what's going on everybody? Shop King in the house. Today is going to be a wild video. This is a crazy video. We're going to be talking about the future of Animal Jam. And this isn't anything official. These are just ideas that have been bouncing around in my head. And you have to see them. Like some of them are just so cool. But before we talk about the future, we have to go to the past. The universe was created around 14 billion years ago. The earth was created around four and a half billion years ago. And humans are very new. We've actually only been here for around 100,000 years. So to put that into perspective, if the earth is 46,000 years old, that makes us humans one year old that's how new we are on earth and in all that time we've only recently started to develop technology so imagine what it's going to be like 50 years from now a hundred years from now, a thousand a million years from now. can you imagine a billion years from now what life will be like because right now we're just babies we're just getting started and stuff is about to get very interesting. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. All right, let's talk about the future. You're gonna see these bendy screens and foldable phones everywhere. Those are actually out now, but they're gonna like be everywhere. But in the future, they're gonna be clear. In fact, they might even be embedded in your skin. You will have smart clothes. It can change how it looks. It can make itself warmer. Buildings will be made out of smart material. Like if it gets damaged in a storm, it can repair itself. And you will have smart, tiny little robots running around inside your bloodstream. These are called nanobots and they actually already exist. They will look for any disease, any problems, and they will fix it and make sure that you are healthy. They can also deliver medicine. If you get hungry, you can print yourself some food. You can even print yourself new contact lenses, which are actually your computer. In the future, there will be awesome buildings everywhere. Stuff like you couldn't even imagine. Oh, but of course, there will also be flying cars. There will be like streets in the air that the cars go on. It's, it's amazing just to think about it. But you know what else? Plenty of people won't even live on Earth. They will be living on other planets, like Mars. And of course, there will be robots everywhere doing everything for us. So now we've talked about the past, we've talked about the future. Now let's talk about the future of Animal Jam. And for this, I'm mostly going to focus on the near future. These are just some random ideas I've had. And I did some edits so we could sort of see what they would look like. Oh, here's an idea I had where you could pick out any color you wanted for an item. This would work for like any brand new item. It doesn't have to be a spike. It could be whatever, but it would just be so cool if you could choose whatever color you wanted so you can make it match uh, like your outfit. Another idea I had was for the randomizer. You know, you click the thing and it automatically makes a random look for you. I had that a real long time ago, and then they put it in Play Wild, but it hasn't been added to Animal Jam yet. So hopefully one day that'll pop up. Oh, then I had an idea about a rainbow pattern. I don't know, I just thought that would be cool. I've always liked rainbow stuff. 
here's an idea for pet search because like whenever you go to look at somebody's pets if they have a whole bunch it just gets so laggy and it will freeze your computer and you're done for so with this you can search whatever you want right and then it's just pictures like the one on the left it's all animated they're like dancing around and stuff and that makes it load really slow but on the right side it would just be so much easier plus there's the search thing so let's do that here's some of my ideas for the sounds like sometimes you're playing animal jam and you want to listen to music but you can't you know because you have the music going on animal jam but if you turn the music off on animal jam then you won't hear the notifications like if a trade pops up on your screen or if you get a jamagram or something like that so it would be cool if you could turn just sound effects on or just turn trade alert on or you know just different sound settings oh here's one that i did forever ago i thought this was pretty cool it's just a trade history so you could see whatever trades you have done you know click that little trade icon and then it shows all of your trades everything that you've offered and everything that you've traded for and stuff like that uh, this one was just sort of a simple idea to like expand your inventory so you can see more items and stuff I don't know I just thought that would be useful and this one here is just a couple of new settings like if you could play and no one knew your name like if you could change it to anonymous but that might be an issue with like if someone needed to report you what if you could also turn trades on or off like if you wanted to put something on your trade just to get likes or something like a masterpiece also if you could just limit a certain amount of people in your den like if you only wanted two or three buddies in your den and then the one that a lot of people are excited about is being able to turn it so your buddies can't follow you turn follow off no more follow i call that ghost mode this is a friend list it's basically like your buddy list except you can have unlimited friends no matter what but see it doesn't show when anybody's on and like all of that stuff so it's really a simple list and i think it's something that they could actually do and if they had something like this i would be able to make everybody my friend but adding everybody as your buddy is just impossible Oh, here's an idea I had a really long time ago about some new emojis. <laughs> uh, I don't like them as much now as I did when I made them. But I don't know. I think that we could come up with some, some better ones, some cool ones. Oh, here's one of my most favorites. And this is actually one of my most recent one. It's called the Redo Token. Like, I don't know if you get it from maybe a future promo or if you get it from some new crazy adventure, but it's the redo token. So when you get this, you can redo a pet. Like if you happen to have a rare pet, you can redo it. Like the, the way it looks, oh, that would be so awesome. Ooh, you found the promo key. What does the golden promo key go to? I don't know. I guess it's from some new adventure. I have a lot of ideas about adventures. But look, five different awards. You got the promo key. Which do you pick? They're all random. Like, there's no way to know what's inside no matter what. They're all random, all brand new. Oh, you know you want to find out. And here we have the magic portal. So it's just like any other portal, right? But you throw it in your den and then you link it to another den. So you can link it to your own den. That way people can go into your den and then they can go and look around at your other dens. You can connect them. Come on, that would be sweet. Boom, there it is, the rare slot machine. Check that out. You spin 25 diamonds or something like that, and you get to spin the rare slot machine, and you can get one brand new rare item. Brand new rare. 
you might even find the ultra rare limited edition one of a kind crazy rare oh here's an old edit for a camel i don't know bring camels bring cows ostriches and why can't we gift pets when is this gonna happen you know we can gift everything else that we can trade so why can't we gift pets come on make it so oh this is one of my first big time edits an animated edit which is actually really hard to do here i'll just let it play out so you just enter in a message and click chat and the message goes straight to him no one else sees it and you don't have to deal with jamograms or anything like that and it just instantly shows up because a lot of time well for example i get a whole bunch of jamograms so i hear i hear the new jamogram sound all the time someone might be trying to tell me something important maybe they don't want anybody else to see the message and they send me a jamogram and i won't see it until the next day so being able to have a private chat is pretty cool so uh ooh, a party's got a nice little party hat there so uh maybe maybe i want to trade for that can you put your party hat on trade all right and now we just click chat okay sweet there's our message popped up on my screen and it popped up on his screen and if we want we can go ahead and minimize this just by clicking this uh little icon here and it goes down right here so anytime you want to see whatever is going on in the chat you just click on it and it pops it back up cool oh hey looks like we got a new message in from typical rocky what's up king okay cool let's let's see what she's up to not much what are you doing and let's go ahead and minimize this and it goes down here with all of your other chats oh hey it looks like apari responded all right cool let's see what he said sure as soon as i finish this all right cool that sounds good thanks so there you have it, my idea for a private messaging system on Animal Jam, private message, private chat, whatever you want to call it. I think it would really be very handy. It's type of that's it's the type of thing like years from now we'll wonder how in the world we ever lived without private chat. Imagine, well, you know how on masterpieces you can like it. What if you were able to like a den? Like if you went to someone's den and you could actually like it. This is another idea I had from like two years ago. Put a counter in our den and then put a like button so people can like it. And then we can see how many times it's been visited. And another idea I had was how come we can't name our dens? Like if you get like three castles or three small houses, how do you know which one is which? I know I'm always messing them up. And here is my famous rare color changing floor. How about we get some new floors and walls? And how about if we were able to pick any color we wanted for our floors? Wouldn't that be cool? Purples and blues and greens and reds and every other color that you can think of. Same thing for the walls. Pick any color you want for the walls with the rare color changing walls. That would be so awesome. And not just all of your walls, you could change the color of each individual wall in your den. Come on, that, come on, come, right? Come on, you know you love that. You would use that. It is the rare gift box. You buy that gift box, okay? And then you take it and you go to your den. And then you click on it and you set it anywhere you want in your den. You can like sort of hide it. But see, here's the thing. You can click on it and you can put any item you want into it. You can put a spike in it. You can put a den beta. You can put a pet in it. Whatever. Put any item in the gift box and then tell everyone in your den, okay, whoever the first person finds it gets the item. That would be so fun. 
or you could even assign it. Like only this person can get what is in here. And then, you know, once they find it, you could put something else in it. I don't know, that just sounds like such a fun idea. I love it. Now this one would be really hard for Animal Jam to do because they would have to build these large databases and it would use a whole lot of resources, but it's still a cool idea. Because imagine searching for any item in the game. You wanna find a spike and you search for it. And then all of the results pop up right there. Everyone nearby that has a spike on their trade list. Oh, come on. Oh, that would make life so much easier. Could you imagine if you were looking for plushies or something like that? There's the whole list. They have them. <laughs> oh, you're looking for headdresses? Boom. There they are. These people have them. Now you can finally go get that light pink headdress that you've been looking for. Oh, this was from a skit. Don't panic, don't panic. This is not real. Well, look at all the headdresses in Jamar. What is going on, guys? Come on, something. Oh my God, they, uh, did they bring back the headdresses? This is crazy. This is bad. Why would you do it, Animal Jam? Why would you do it? They brought back headdresses. Can you believe they did it? They did. They brought, everyone has headdresses. As you know, I love raccoon tails and I did all of these in a style that sort of matched some sort of clothing. I don't know, I just love raccoon tails and I just wish they would make a whole bunch more in a whole bunch of colors. So here are some colors of them that I like. Okay, this last one, I know tons of people would love to have this. Okay, you see the camera and you see the little map? Okay, this is how it works. Anytime you wanna take a picture, you click on it and you can take a picture of whatever scene you're in. You see it? See the picture? But look, you can even hang the picture on your den, like as a masterpiece, right? or you can print it out, or you can save it to your computer, whatever, so cool. But click on the little map thing when you're in your den, guess what happens? You will never guess, will you? Okay, you'll probably guess. You click on that and you can create a den map. This is so difficult for people to do because you have to take a million different pictures and try to piece them together, but there it is. In one click of a button, you have a den map and you can save it, you can print it, or you can even hang it in your den. Could you imagine? Oh, oh man, the possibilities are endless with all of these edits. And don't forget, none of this stuff is official. Who knows what they're gonna come out with. I'm, I know they have some really cool ideas and like, I can't wait to see Animal Jam a year from now, or two years from now, or five years. Like, uh, there's going to be some cool stuff, some exciting stuff. I know it. We'll see. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Click that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to Doug and we're going to this video. Wait, I didn't share my ideas about Animal Jam in the way future, okay? They've already done augmented reality, whereas... Uh, it, it, you, you sort of hold up your tablet and you can see your animal like in your bedroom and stuff they already did that for play wild <laughs>
And with that, you'll be able to put goggles on and you will feel like you're actually in the game. You will feel cold in Mount Chivier. You can feel the sand between your toes on crystal sands. Yes, it would even feel like you are swimming. And if you turn into a bird, it will feel like you're flying. That's what virtual reality does. And a lot of this stuff already exists. A lot of this technology, there are a lot of games that already have virtual reality. But in the future, it's going to be so much more real. Like the sensation, it will feel so real. And I think after that will come holograms you will be able to have a holographic display of your animal or of one of your pets like follow you around your house jump up on your bed and its emotions are genuine like it can react to you it like knows what you're thinking it would be like an actual real pet this is stuff that they are working on so this is stuff that is possible wouldn't that be cool 